Man is, of course, the scariest creature on the planet. But when faced one-on-one -on -one with some other representatives of the animal world, a person has no chance of survival. The ocean is dangerous in itself, like any element, and the presence of one of these creatures nearby does not bode well. If you want, subscribe to the channel to support me as a storyteller, and watch other interesting videos on the channel. 1. Sea Snake She rarely bites a person. She uses her venom mainly when hunting and sometimes for self-defense. However, if something goes wrong, then the bite of a sea snake will not be harmless. Their venom has a very high toxicity. The victim does not immediately feel the effect, only headache, vomiting and other symptoms appear within an hour. And after a few hours, myoglobin appears in the blood, destroying muscles. If necessary measures are not taken, kidney failure and a heart attack occur, which can eventually lead to death. 2. Barracuda Swift, ferocious and capable of causing serious injury, this perch fish may seem like a real underwater devil. Long, like snakes, the barracuda has a powerful lower jaw with sharp piranha-like teeth. The barracuda can reach 205 centimeters in length and reach speeds of up to 40 kilometers per hour. Unsurprisingly, she quickly catches up with her victim. Barracudas do not attack people so often, this usually happens in muddy or dark water, when there is a risk of mistaking a person for a fish. Such a collision does not bode well. A barracuda is capable of tearing out a piece of a human body. If suddenly you are not afraid of this, know that their body contains a toxin that causes hallucinations and other side effects in humans. 3. Mora eels. Representatives of eel-like species usually avoid contact with humans. But if they feel threatened, write it down. An eel bite is dangerous not only by causing mechanical injury. The mouth of this moray eel is home to countless bacteria that instantly enter the wound. And if you decide to feed a moray eel with your hand while underwater, remember, they have poor eyesight, and you can easily say goodbye, if not to your hand, then to your fingers. 4. Warts. These ray-finned fish are called stonefish in English. A stonefish can really easily pass for a small stone. This helps her disguise well and easily misleads a person who is able to accidentally step on such a pebble. Alas, such an oversight is not painless. The sharp spikes of the wart dig into the foot, and a small dose of neurotoxin penetrates into the human blood, causing problems of the respiratory system and even heart failure. Remember that these fish can stay out of the water for 24 hours, so take a closer look at your feet and on the shore. 5. The Eagle-Shaped Ram the stingray is not as harmless as it might seem. He is usually relaxed, but can seriously injure a person with his tail. The fact is that at the base of the tail of these rays there are spikes, one or more, the length of which can reach 35 centimeters. The spike, in turn, is capable of releasing poison. A painful prick with a thorn is fraught with swelling, cramps, and bacterial infection. In 2006, an Australian naturalist and TV presenter tragically died from a thorn attack, a stingray wounded him in the heart, and the wound turned out to be fatal. 6. Tiger Shark The tiger shark has a good appetite. Its menu includes fish, seals, birds, squid, turtles, dolphins and even other smaller sharks. It is not surprising that human remains are often found in the stomach of a tiger shark. It is believed that they do not hunt humans specifically as prey, but frequent encounters with humans in the area of shallow reefs, harbors and canals, nevertheless, become fatal for humans. 7. White Shark The answer to the question, who can be more dangerous than a tiger shark? It is also called the man-eating shark, and for good reason. Impressive dimensions. About 5 meters in length and a weight of 700 kilograms to a ton leave no chance for a person. White sharks have their own signature style. They attack the victim from below, opening their mouths wide so that huge sharp teeth cause as much damage as possible. Have you watched the movie, Jaws? It's about them. 8. Saltwater Crocodile AKA the man-eating crocodile, lives mainly in the Indian Ocean. The force of its bite is considered to be 10 times stronger than the bite force of a white shark. In addition, unlike a shark, a crocodile can lie in wait for you on land. Crocodiles are not gourmets, they do not choose delicious food for themselves, but eat whatever comes to hand. 
According to one version, more than 400 Japanese soldiers who crossed the river during the retreat during World War II became victims of saltwater crocodiles. 9. Blue-ringed octopus An octopus may seem like an unexpected participant in such a list. Its size does not exceed 12 to 20 centimeters, but a tiny and almost painless bite can kill a person within a few minutes. The venom of this octopus is extremely toxic, nausea, respiratory arrest, heart failure, complete paralysis or death. All this can end your meeting with the octopus if you do not take emergency measures. The danger also lies in the fact that such a minor bite does not cause a person to fear until the first signs of poisoning appear. 10. Cubo Medusa These animals are certainly beautiful. And they are damn dangerous, because they possess one of the most dangerous poisons among all living beings. Fatal cases as a result of burns from the bite of a cubo medusa occur every year. Worst of all, this danger is difficult to control, jellyfish are almost transparent and swim very fast, which is why there is a high risk of simply not noticing them. These animals can be dangerous, but in most cases they do not attack humans unless they feel in danger or are chasing prey. The best way to avoid problems is to be careful and avoid contact with them. 1. Longevity Some shark species can live for many years. For example, blue sharks can reach the age of up to 20 years, and deep sea sharks, such as the deep sea goblin shark, can live up to 70 years or even more. 2. Tooth regeneration Sharks have an unusual ability to permanently replace lost teeth. Some shark species can have up to several thousand teeth in their lifetime. 3. Variety of sizes. Sharks range in size from small, such as the spotted shark, about 20 centimeters in length, to huge, like the whale shark, which can reach a length of more than 12 meters. 4. Predatory appetite. Sharks are predators of the upper tier of the food chain and often play a key role in regulating populations of other marine organisms. Some shark species can eat up to 90 kilograms of food at a time. 5. Fewer deaths than from falling coconuts. About 10 people die from shark attacks worldwide per year, while on average about 150 people die from falling coconuts. 6. They can sleep while moving. Some shark species, such as the gerbil shark, can sleep while swimming, covering only half of their brain. 7. They have been on Earth much longer than humans. Sharks appeared on Earth about 400 million years ago, which makes them one of the most ancient living organisms. 8. Sharks can swim faster than a human can run. Some species of sharks are capable of speeds of more than 50 km per hour, which significantly exceeds the speed of a running person. 9. Sharks don't have bones. The entire skeleton of sharks consists of cartilage, which makes them light and flexible in the water. 10. Sharks can sense blood over great distances. Sharks have an incredibly sensitive sense of smell and can detect a drop of blood in millions of liters of water. What fact surprised you? How to survive a shipwreck in the open ocean. Although the probability of getting into a shipwreck is very low, it is still different from zero if you travel by water. In addition to the risk of drowning when the ship is submerged, Shipwreck survivors face many dangers in the future. These include prolonged stays in the water, sharks, and more. Nevertheless, your chances of surviving a shipwreck will increase significantly if you keep your composure, cooperate with your fellow sufferers and take measures to be found by rescuers. Perseverance and luck will help you survive this ordeal. 1. Keep your composure. Perhaps the most important thing in a shipwreck is not to lose your composure. This is especially important in the first minutes of chaos. If you panic, your chances of survival will decrease. If you feel a panic attack, try to calm down and take a few deep breaths. Think before you act. Do not rush headlong to the nearest lifeboat and do not jump into the water at the first sign of danger. Think about all the possibilities. 2. Find a floating vehicle. If your ship is sinking into the water, the first thing to do is find something that will help you stay afloat. Without such a remedy, you will not be able to survive in the water for a long time. It could be the following. Life jacket. Lifeboat, inflatable raft. 3. In case of danger, jump off the ship. If you are forced to jump from a ship, do not take off your shoes. 
Before jumping into the water, look down to see if there are any people or objects there. Press one hand to your stomach and hold it by the elbow of the other hand. Hold your nose with your other hand. After that, jump as far away from the sinking ship as possible. In the jump, cross your legs and try to enter the water with your feet. 4. If the vessel is large, sail away from it. When a large ship is submerged, a whirlpool is formed that draws everything around into itself. Thus, the larger the sinking vessel, the further away you should sail from it. A large ship can take you with it, even if you are wearing a life jacket. Try to breaststroke away from the ship. Push off the water with your feet with force. If you are not a good swimmer, keep your composure, stay on the water vertically and row slowly away from the sinking vessel. 5. Find something that will help you stay afloat. If you don't have a life jacket, raft, or anything like that, look around and look for a suitable object among the floating debris. It can be anything, for example, the door, floating fragments of the ship, unused lifeboats and vests. 6. Check if you are injured. After you sail away from the ship to a safe distance, quickly check if you have any damage. This way you will know if you need immediate medical attention. Please note the following. Bleeding. If you have a serious wound that is bleeding, you may need to apply a tourniquet to stop the bleeding. This is very important, as blood loss can lead to faster hypothermia of the body. A broken limb, a broken arm or leg will significantly impair your ability to stay afloat. In this case, you will need immediate help from other survivors of the shipwreck. If you want, subscribe to the channel to support me as a storyteller. And watch other interesting videos on the channel. 7. Help others. After you find a way to stay afloat and make sure that you are not seriously injured, look around, perhaps one of the survivors of the shipwreck needs help. Other shipwreck survivors may be in serious trouble and need urgent help. Help those who are in shock. Talk to people, assure them that everything will be fine, and let them know that you are ready to help. Help those who have a concussion. 8. Avoid hypothermia. If you did not drown in a shipwreck, you are in danger of the next serious danger. Hypothermia, that is, hypothermia. Cold water lowers body temperature. If the body temperature drops too low, eventually various organs fail and the person dies. If you are holding onto a floating object and you are in the water and not on a raft, raise your knees to your chest. This will help to conserve heat. If you are in the water or on a raft with others, snuggle up to each other to keep warm. Do not take off your clothes. Even if your clothes are soaked through, they help keep you warm. 9. Make sure there are no sharks nearby. After the risk of drowning in hypothermia, the next biggest threat on the high seas is sharks. Sharks are especially dangerous in a shipwreck, as they are attracted by the blood of injured people and fish that gather around floating objects. Try not to splash in the water to attract as little attention to yourself and your group as possible. If any of you received an open wound during a shipwreck, do everything possible to stop the bleeding. Blood attracts fish and sharks, and they feel it at a great distance. 10. Look for land. Once you are relatively safe and confident on the water, start looking for land somewhere. If you fail to make it to land, your chances of survival will fade every day as your water and food supplies run out. Land can be found by a number of signs. Assess your location based on the latest information you know. This can be done using maps or by the stars. Keep an eye out for signs of land proximity such as birds, floating fragments of trees or debris. If you see birds, look in which direction they are flying. Try to see land on the horizon. This may not be easy if the land is far away, but you should try. 11. Get drinking water. If you don't have enough fresh water, you may be able to get it. Cover your raft or other floating vehicle with tarpaulin or cellophane and collect rainwater. In the same way, you can collect morning dew if it doesn't rain. Do not drink salt water in any case, as this will lead to dehydration. Instead, try to make fresh water out of salt water. 12. Give signals to the rescuers. Regardless of whether you are on a boat, another floating vehicle, or on the ground, it is necessary to signal rescuers as often as possible. Without such signals, it will be difficult for rescuers to find you and other survivors of the shipwreck. Try to send signals in the following ways. Use a mirror to reflect the light towards possible rescuers. Fire. If you are on land, Make a bonfire to attract the attention of rescuers. Put an inscription or some other sign on the shore. 
For example, you can lay out an SOS sign made of coconuts or pieces of wood.